So there are rumors about the iPhone 17 series is getting reheating up recently. And one of the biggest change, everyone said that could be a major redesign of the rear camera system. Some leaks suggest that Apple might ditch this familiar triangular lens layout in favor of a more horizontal camera bar on the back, just like what Google is doing with its Pixel series. But if it is true, this change could have a major impact on a feature that Apple has been pushing heavily in the past years, the spatial video capture for Vision Pro. Now, if you've been watching my channel for quite a while, spatial video will not be a new thing to you. They also have our several, several spatial video vlogs on my channel already. And you know that I have explained and spent a lot of time exploring this new type of media. To help you recap, spatial video is a format that creates a more immersive viewing experience by capturing video from slightly different angles, similar to how human eye perceives the depth in the real world. When viewed in headsets such as Apple Vision Pro or MetaQuest 3, spatial video makes you feel like you are inside the scene, adding a large sense of presence and immersion, which traditional 2D video just cannot achieve. Now, what really matters here with this rumored new design is about the specific camera lens configuration that enables spatial video capture capability. To record spatial video, an iPhone needs to have its two lenses positioned apart from each other and on the same line when the iPhone is on its side, mimicking the two human eyes. Now when recording in landscape, that's how we normally record video for, the phone uses its, its wide and ultra wide lenses on the back to capture two slightly different perspectives of the stream videos. Currently, models like iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 16 models can achieve that using their horizontally aligned cameras, right, if you think about when the phone is on it sideways. This horizontal setup ensures that when you hold the phone and capture video in that way, the two lenses, wide, ultra-wide, are spaced properly for depth capture and they stay on the same horizontal line. That's why it will not work on iPhone 14 Pro series because two lenses are on the different position, they are not on a flat line. And if you think it that way, that's exactly where the iPhone 16 design rumors become a problem to spatial video. So those leaked reports suggest that the iPhone 16 Pro model might replace its triangle camera layout with some horizontal strip of lens. If that happens, it means the lenses are now in a different position. Spatial video will become impossible in that form because in those designs, I can see that the lenses are aligned side by side or vertically when you put the phone into capture mode. It means it cannot capture necessary depth separation when recording in its landscape mode for spatial video. It just becomes something not possible and it will raise some big questions. Would Apple really remove a future they have marketed heavily and built into just only two generations of iPhones? Or what if the, the standard iPhone 16 keeps a vertical camera or horizontal camera just like it is now, but the Pro models change it to a different design? Will that mean only the cheaper iPhone can capture spatial video while the expensive Pro ones cannot? Does it feel weird? Or if all iPhone 16 models go for the new design, the so-called camera bar, the pixel visor, does that mean spatial video is just dead on the iPhones? Well, it seems unlikely that Apple will abandon such a big future just at this moment. What if the rumors are true? They must have some kind of backup plan to keep the spatial video thing going on, right? Although I don't believe Apple will just abandon spatial video for two generations and then say, okay, bye-bye, we don't need that more. But what if they really go for plan B? Then what can be a plan B? Well, if you're asking me, I well, need to make some speculation, just, just my guessing. I think there can be some more advanced software-based spatial video capture capability. If happens, then Apple can do it instead of depending strictly on a hardware configuration. Right now, there are some emerging technologies can do that, like Gaussian splatting. That is a method that uses AI and computational photography to generate 3D images without needing to capture a traditional depth or dual camera setup. Companies like Niantic, they're already using this 
in their app called the Scaniverse to create realistic 3D models from the real world. And Apple has also been experimenting with something similar. In the Vision OS 2, they can use machine learning to turn a 2D image into a spatial photo. So if Apple is based on that, developing some next generation version of spatial video or depth video capture that relies more on AI than a specific hardware, they can explain that, okay, we are confident enough to change the camera layout, but still keeping the function intact. But of course, that's just all my speculation. The only way to know for sure is we are waiting for Apple's official announcement of the iPhone 60 models. And looks like we will have still got several months to wait. Well, would Apple really remove spatial video function in the future? Or do they have a surprise in their pocket that will show all of us in the coming month? Could AI power spatial video really be the next thing? Let me know how you think. Let me know your ideas, your, your yes and no's in the comments. But until that announcement, let's wait together. Thanks for watching and I will see you in next video.